Let's, let's see what we have here. Oh, let me set this down right here. See what we got. Let's have a look. Hmm. Open this up. This is this computer crashed. Is what I'm being told. So they called Tim's Computer Repair to see what's wrong with it. Let's have a look. Oh. Wow. And look at this. The original. Oh. Oh my goodness. I think this is one of the worst ones I've had. It's one of them. There you go. How about that? Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, look out. The wind's blowing. You're dang right I've got this outside. Yep. I wonder... Yeah, this is a cyber power. Looks like it's been running 24-7, never been cleaned. Cheap Turbo Link power supply. This will be fun to clean out. Nasty. Okay, get ready. This is not going to be good. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. All right, let's get this computer back in the shop and see if we can figure out what's going on with it. Wow. What a difference a cleaning would do. I noticed while I was blowing this guy out, this fan here wasn't spinning at all. Matter of fact, it's locked up. I can't even turn it. Look at that. Yeah, wow, it looks almost brand new now. Crazy. Crazy how people just don't know that they need to do that once a year. This is a pretty old machine. Pretty old machine, I think you can tell us an AMD. Those brackets right there. DVD drive. So let's get everything plugged in here. Cheap power supply, that's what I noticed right off the bat. You can look in there. Uh, hard drive, lovely. They say it crashed, so no other information besides it crashed. So, let's get everything plugged in and see what we got here. Right, got everything plugged in here. It's looking all right. Nice little just basic video card there. It's kind of funny, little small video card here. Everything's plugged in, power's on. Let's go ahead and hit this power button. Ooh, look at that. Okay, I think that's just a an empty slot for a USB. I thought it was a smashed up USB port, but it's not. They look okay. All right, where's the power button here? Where is the power button? It's right here in the front. Look at it, a door. Wow. Let's turn it on. Oh, we do get fans. Well, not that fan. That's funny. 
and that's that fan is not spinning but hey look at here we got post wow that's an old bios man and we're loading windows i have seen on computers and desktops that have all that dust that was all up in there i mean it was bad dust oh here we go here's what we're getting got a stop code stop code zero xc zero 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 okay so it looks like we're going to go through a boot loop here crashing at startup that's what it's doing that probably was the original problem, I assume. Yep, automatic repair. So the steps we're gonna take, as usual, to figure out why it's blue screening like that, we are going to test this guy. We have to determine before we test anything else, if we have a hard drive, really any drive for that matter, but especially hard drives, spinning hard drives, we have to target the health of that drive first because if that drive is failing or if that drive flags is going bad then that's where the troubleshooting is going to stop the fact that it's posting like this tells me that most likely the processor and the memory are okay and video card for that matter since we're getting video since we're posting processor memory most likely okay and most likelihood the power supply is okay, but we haven't ruled that out yet. But we need to figure out why it's blue screening. So let's pull this drive. I'm going to mount this on my data recovery bench, and we're going to test it. But I just noticed, too, the front fan isn't even spinning either. So absolutely zero airflow. They're locked up with dust. We'll have to replace those. just remount that up top I mean I know they most likely need a most likely need an SSD here I understand that if this hard drive tests good I'm just going to leave it as a hard drive if this drive tests bad I'm going to highly recommend an SSD why is this not coming out not coming out it looks like it may have oh lovely yeah this is real smart cyber power. They got a screw on this side too of this uh, drive. This is not a removable drive bay, which means I'm going to have to pull this entire front panel to get to the screw, this hole in the hard drive in. Oh, lovely. Thank you, cyber power. Thank you very much. Wedge a screwdriver in pinch down on these stupid clips here give it a little snug turn there pier 2 screwdriver up here you want to try to do this without chewing up their case as much as possible pinch down on that little clip and just pop like that it comes off just like that. Most likely you're going to have to do the same thing to the other side. Don't just take this door and just pull on it and yank it because it'll rip the pins out of the other side. We'll turn this around. You see one, two, there's one down at the bottom. So that's what we're going to be pinching onto here. Okay. And there we go. He's out. My God. All of that. Just to get to... Oh my gosh. Now the fan's in the way. There's a screw that's holding the hard drive in. There's a screw holding the hard drive in there. And look what's in the way for me getting to that screw. The dang fan. Wow. Nightmare. This hard drive better be bad. Me going through all of this. It's okay. Look, the fan had to come out anyway, so that means that front cover had to come off anyway. 
This is definitely going to be repairable. We just got to figure out why it's crashing. I think all the main components are just fine. So there we go. And there it is. There's a screw that's holding the hard drive in right there. Thank you, Cyber Power. Okay, there's that screw. Now the drive can come right out and we can test it. Okay, up. Oh, it's trying to load it. There it goes. Yep, yep. Okay, it loads it. All right, the drive is mounted. Let's go down here to my clear disk info and let's test these drives. And guess what? They're all okay. The drive is fine. So we're having a Windows problem. So now we can go and try to troubleshoot that. So uh, we're going ahead and backed up all of the data on the drive. The drive's back into the machine, obviously. Now we have it booted up to the automatic repair. We're going to go to advanced options here. We're going to do troubleshoot, and we're going to check to see if there is any restore points on this computer. System restore. Uh, there may be a password, which... Um, they haven't given me, so maybe I need to, yep, password. So let me find that password out. All right, system restore, this is password. Oh, I didn't get in. Here we go. And as you can see here, we've got uh, system restore running. Or we're going to check see if there's any restore points. Oh, and we have restore points. So it's the very first thing we need to check, and this is very good. We may be able to recover this. Windows Modules Installer. Let's go back to, let's go back to 312, which is about a month ago. Let's go back there and see if we can recover this system. So that's what we're going to try to see how it goes. Confirm your restore point. Let's click finish. Click yes. And let's let this process go through. This will take a while. A lot of times with Windows 10 computers, I find that System Restore has not been activated. A lot of times, almost all the time, all OEM computers such as CyberPower, Dell, you name them, all the big brands, for some reason they all ship Windows 10 and I believe Windows 11 also without system restore being enabled. They don't understand what the process, the thought process is with that, but uh, if you didn't know any better, it's best to go in and enable system restore since it does ship disabled by default. Also, any fresh install of Windows 10 or Windows 11 that you do, it also installs with system restore disabled. I don't really understand Microsoft's thought, thought process on that because it is a safety net for the, for the end user. Anyways, let's let this run and let's see if we have any success. Okay, great. As you can see here, System Restore completed successfully. I'm going to go ahead and reboot the computer and see if we can load the windows. Loading, loading. It's trying to do something. Come on, baby, give it to me. Updating your system. Doing something here. Well, at least it's not going to the automatic repair screen anymore, but we'll see here. Oh, look at here. What about this? Oh, we're going to reboot again, everybody. I think we're on to something here. Restart. Here we go. And waiting. It's trying to do something. Yep, do some more updates. And what are we going to do? Reboot again, maybe. Bingo, everybody. There we go. So, success. So, Luckily, System Restore was enabled on this computer and we were able to just pick a restore point. Uh, there are other ways to try to recover Windows through Command Prompt, which is, would have been the other steps that I would have been taking. But in this case, totally glad I was able to get the customer up and running. From this point, we'll probably go ahead and get it fully updated. Be sure it's uh, updated um, to the current 
updates of Windows 10 and uh, we got this one done. Figured I'd take you guys along for the ride. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment down in the comment section. That'd be great. Tim's Computer Repair. See you soon. Yay. That's awesome. Love that shit, huh? <laughs> Boom. Smart man. Uh, that, that may have had Windows 7 on it. And that's probably why System Restore was enabled. You know? I just need those damn fans now. System restore completed successfully. System restore has completed successfully. Yay! There's his desktop. Very nice.